On Thursday, the Federal Reserve unveiled the details of the $2.3 trillion program to help support the U.S. economy. While unemployment claims surged by 6.6 million as coronavirus continues to tackle the U.S. workforce, Canada also lost over a million jobs because of coronavirus. Meanwhile, the Bank of England has agreed to temporarily lend the government money if needed, to help finance its massive COVID-19 spending plans. Welcome to the TechMail Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the InvestDiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TechMail YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Friday, we'll be looking at China's new yuan loans for March, as well as the U.S. CPI. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair, which has been on a strong recovery route ever since it broke above the 4-hour Ichimoku cloud on April 6. And it tested the 61% Fibonacci retracement level of 68.85 during Friday's Asian session. We could see a bit of a friction here at this resistance, but if the pair breaks above it, it will open doors for even more gains. Do you think the pair will break above this level by Monday? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll go back to you with more updates next week.